different generations are in view, the alpha, Gen Z, and millennials, there's still that thing that has been running through everyone, that human nature part of it. And that is the thing that we can't lose sight of, even as technology, marketing, other trends come. That is the only thing that can help us keep being relevant as marketers, reaching out to them. And it was really, really clear, even as he was talking about you know, how these different generations are reacting to technology. Uh, people do not use technology for its own sake. It is to foster further interactions with other human beings. And that is where we are as marketers. That was really what struck me from uh, the session. For the future, I think uh, a lot of things come to mind. Uh, but more importantly, I think um, what 2020 and 2021 has taught us is that um, the trends in marketing can change in the blink of an eye. Um, so it's really hard to predict the future of marketing. But if you take um, a, a couple of cues from what um, Professor had said, you will notice that um, there are some trends that we should stay abreast of when it comes to marketing for the future. And, and starting from that is you know, um, content uh, as relates to Generation Z or, or the millennials. You know, so you find that there's this fear of missing out uh, that's usually happening, and that's a trend right now. And the, the younger generations want to constantly stay in the loop. And here you find that um, creating experiences for them is very, very important. And it's about creating those experiences that you can, it's in creating those experiences that you can really reach out to this um, group of audience. Um, Professor also mentioned that, you know, uh, video is, uh, is, in, is going to be really big. And I think video is overtaking other digital channels. We can see this from, you know, TikTok having more than a million, 100 million followers more than um, um, Instagram. So you find right now that everybody is engrossed in making videos uh, and, and, and um, this, this is now creating a whole new level of experience. Um, the third thing that is really coming through, uh, and Professor said that, but is, even beyond influencers, is micro-influencers. So people are looking for recommendations from people that are close to them. So if I want to try a new product, I want to talk to someone who is, who, I don't want to talk to someone who, is, uh, who has 100 million followers or 20 million followers. I want to talk to someone who has 15,000 followers and I can trust that person um, you know, very much that you know, they have had an experience with the product and they can give me the relevant um, advice when it comes to that product. Thank you. Thank you.